In actuality, we ought to have known. Sports and happiness are related. According to studies, the nations with the largest percentage of athletes are also the happiest in the world. These are the statistics on happiness around the world, along with easy ways to improve your quality of life. What does happiness entail? Taking in the clean alpine air while standing atop a peak? Are you having trouble breathing when lifting dumbbells at the gym, cheering on your team while watching a football game on television? Yes, we are delighted with all of it. Happiness, however, can also be described statistically as experts examine the happiest places for individuals to live in the frequently released World Happiness Report. The following six crucial elements are more than money, sports can bring you happiness. There is no denying that exercise has benefits. More dopamine and serotonin, the neurotransmitters linked to happiness, are released by the body. Moreover, exercise reduces stress because it lowers cortisol levels in the body. Scientists from Yale and Oxford universities examined data from 1.2 million Americans in 2018, and they even got to the conclusion that participation in sports leads to a happier life than material possessions. It follows that the link between sports and happiness is not surprising. Why are people in Scandinavia so content? Because to their superior standard of living, robust social networks, social security, excellent education system, and beautiful and expansive natural surroundings, Scandinavians are generally happier than those of most other European neighbors. The fact that people in the Scandinavian nations play a wide variety of sports on a regular basis is also remarkable. Finland, Sweden, and Denmark top the list, according to Liechtenstein Sport Monitoring, which is based in part on the European Union's Eurobarometer. Ahead are Switzerland and the tiny principality itself, both of which have excellent standard of living. Which sport genuinely makes you happier? Walking, aerobics, or high-intensity interval training? The answer is obvious, according to academics at the University of Turku in Finland. Hyatt, researchers observed that following a one-hour high-intensity interval training, Hyatt session, and a moderate aerobics class, the participants in the Hyatt group had considerably higher levels of happy hormones in their blood. Comparing past studies, Chinese researchers from Shenzhen University corroborated this. Still, mood could be improved by even a 10 to 30 minute workout. Sports of endurance promote mental health, even severe depression can benefit from endurance activities like swimming, cycling, and running, according to a different study from the University of Turku. Elderly people's mental health has been demonstrated to improve and psychological issues have been reduced through sport. For instance, an eight-week Pilates program improved participants' happiness and depression levels, according to a study done on Iranian women. In summary, Dr. Eckhart von Hirschhausen, a German physician, cabaret performer, and happiness researcher, says that when muscles cry, the brain smiles. Additionally, he wrote in an article for the German magazine Stern that those who run more frequently even develop new brain cells. Exercise has been shown to produce VGF nerve growth factor inducible protein, a natural antidepressant that functions like fertilizer for head lattice. Forest bathing, happiness comes with little effort. Nonetheless, woodland bathing is advised for people who wish to begin gently with physical activity because of health issues or because they are new to sports. The beneficial impact on psychological well-being has already been amply validated. People who inhale phytoncides, including essential oils, from plants experience a reduction in stress and blood pressure. When people take a forest bathe, their heart rates also settle, which helps people feel more at ease less stressed, and generally happier. The term forest bathing refers to a habit that goes beyond taking a leisurely stroll amid overgrown trees. Why has the word forest bathing become an entire cult, and what good does it do? Everything you need to know about the trend of forest bathing can be found here. Spending time outside is just enjoyable. Professors Gil Pomfret and Carola May have concluded that adventure events are also associated with increased well-being. The German and English scientists examined the key ideas in the field of research on adventure experiences and well-being. Now let's journey into the great outdoors and embark on an exciting adventure, like plunging into a chilly lake. 
Whether we prefer playing tennis with friends or running through the woods alone, exercising alone or with those who share our interests is entirely subjective. Scientists in New Zealand discovered that organized sport offers special extra advantages for well-being. Their research showed that structured group sports enhanced the sense of enjoyment even more in young individuals who were already involved in sports. Couch Potato. Engaging in passive sports can also make you happy. Even if you don't want to work out, going to sporting events on a regular basis, watching sports on TV or streaming, reading the sports news, or having conversations with others about sports are all positively correlated with happiness. That is at least the outcome of a 2021 study conducted in Spain. Moreover, watching sports makes you cheerful. The German Olympic Sports Confederation has already launched a program named Recipes for Exercise in Germany, which is currently the 16th happiest country in the world. Motivating people to exercise more and live an active lifestyle is the goal. Using an educational booklet and a recommendation to join one of the 14 state sports associations, sports programs, general practitioners, prescribe their patients to engage in increased physical activity. However, Canada, ranked 13th, uses the green pill on prescription. Dr. Melissa Lem, a physician, is the one who started the Parex program. Healthcare professionals prescribe patients spend time in nature under this program. In addition, free admission to nearby national parks is granted to those who have the prescription. 2018 saw the adoption of Australia's first national sports strategy by the government. The country is ranked 12th in the World Happiness report. According to former Sport Minister Bridget McKenzie, its expansive strategy plan, Sport 2030, aspires to lay out a clear blueprint for how government action may promote grassroots, sport groups, and enhance participation for better health and well-being. We need new ways to focus on and invest in sport and physical activity so we can fulfill our potential as a nation. Governments have acknowledged happy nations are those that compete and maybe there will be an opportunity for the unhappy European nations to experience happiness as well. Because as Margarita Sheenas, Vice President for the Promotion of the European Way of Life, has acknowledged Sport by itself will not cure all of our issues. Aside from the evident health benefits, it possesses a special ability to foster interpersonal relationships and a sense of community. You're undoubtedly thrilled about that.